Hey folks, it's Ben. I'm here with an exciting adventure for me. Hopefully it is for the video and for you guys too. Uh, if you've been watching Facebook, uh, I get these ads for these tuners where you plug a, in an OSB2 reader uh, into your car and it broadcasts a Wi-Fi signal. And then you can download, I understood, a variety of apps that could work on your iPad. So there's my iPad as well. So I ordered one of these. It was 20 bucks. It took a month to get here, but it did give me tracking so I could see how long it took to get here, but I knew the day it did arrive. Uh, it came from uh, that place there in wherever. Oh, that came to Ontario. Yeah, long story short, it came from China. Uh, so what you get in the box, or the, the bag, if you will, is this thing, which I haven't even opened yet, which is the ODB2 Wi-Fi unit, and then a, a cool little instruction sheet. Thank you for buying. Uh, if you queue, uh, QR code that it brings you to a web page which provides you with a variety of apps you can use with this um, but we'll follow it step by step and see if it's as awesome as it is I've downloaded a few apps already for my iPad but I haven't plugged the thing into my car yet so uh, I found an app so plug the tool into your vehicle ODB2 port under the driver's side um, and then I have to put my key in the ignition and turn it to the on position so go ahead and do that so I haven't opened it yet. I figured it would be fairly plain and boring, pro you know, packaging, and it is. So here it is, Super ODB circuitry in a blue thing. Cool. Uh, that's going to be my orientation. And for the Grand Prix, and we're using the 2002 Pontiac Grand Prix. Uh, we plug it in there. Cool. Of course, they're always powered on. Throw the key in, turn it on and turn the fan off so it's not so loud. Uh, and turn on and then find the Wi-Fi network on your Wi-Fi settings. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's open up my iPad here and the holy crap, I guess I could have cleaned it, huh? At the unit here is to uh, go to my settings and connect to the proper Wi-Fi network. So iPad settings, Wi-Fi, there's the ODB2, click on it. It's got a warning saying that it's unsecured network, and that's fine. And it's hooked up, so that part worked out cool. Let's go back to my app, uh, which I've never connected to, and let's go connect. And it's telling me a bunch of stuff. It says connected. Neat. So let's go to gauges. And uh, temperature in Celsius. Let's switch that over to um, info, that's fine. Graphs, there should be settings. Gauge settings, don't be metric, thanks. Go back to gauges. Oh, temp and F. Doesn't tell me what they are. Oh, they're updating slowly. So that's temp and C, is it coolant temperature? And is that one an air intake? Cause that's way off. RPMs are zero, throttle. So I can fix the throttle one by Hey, look at that. I got her onto the floor. And that's pretty cool. And it's fairly quick. Like I back off and it moves. That's pretty awesome. And there are graphs. Are there different types of gauges to pick? I guess each app would be its own thing. Uh, the mile per gallon thing will be pretty awesome. We'll have to check that out in the log console. What's a console do? Nothing. Okay, info 20. Oh, is it frozen? It's not doing anything on that one. So the app looks kind of frozen, although the data still seems fresh. So, so far so good. Let's go ahead and clear that out. And Wi-Fi is connected. There's a bunch of data. Connected, cool, six gauges. Go ahead and hit the go juice. Oops. RPMs is cool, and it matches what I have on the gauge, so that's kind of neat. Once again, it has them gauges and everything, which is kind of weird. Speed, temperature, and throttle. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and speed would be zero. And check engine lights. No, no, no. Well, there's something in there, boys. 
info, all sorts of crap. Console. Not sure what that is. Anyway, there's like 10 apps to do. And lots of data. So let's go to the gauges and go ahead and put it in drive. In the yard, we're just moving the car to the driveway so I can go to work tomorrow. Should get it creep up. And, oh my, why did you even open the gate for me? How fancy. So it looks pretty cool. It seems like an awesome diagnostic toy. So I got to play with it some more and have more of a DIY on this thing. But for now, just let them know that it is a uh, it is a thing. It works out of the box. Temperature is up. It seems like the bottom here is like a air intake because there's two kinds, right? There's well, that's in temperature in Celsius, and that's annoying. Why do I need six for that? So we got to play with that too, right? But it seems to be fairly on the money. It seems fairly accurate, so it's a matter of finding the app to your your pleasure. Hmm. Uh, if you have any questions on this app, go ahead and ask. I don't have any answers for you. <laughs> but if you think it's cool, I'm going to go ahead and turn the car off. Because we've gone as far as I need to go. And uh, take the key out. It's still transmitting. Let me pull it out of here. It gets a little less excited. Mine was the Wi-Fi. It was on Facebook. Uh, and ODB2 would cover everything I have except for the Caprice, which I have Turbo Link for. Um, but the 98 Silverado, the 08 Equinox, the 06 Uplander, the 02 Grand Prix. Obviously, it's going to be a cool toy. Uh, go ahead, ask questions. Subscribe to my channel for more exciting updates. And uh, you guys, let's cut it right off at 10 minutes. Have a good day. Ding, leave any questions or comments down below. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for awesome updates on what I'm doing. Uh, please check out the next video I've got lined up for you. And also uh, check out my Patreon page if you want to support what we're doing here. And finally, check out my other less tractory page, Red Barn Homestead. You can subscribe to that too, see some awesome stuff. And we'll see you next time.